Before we start, please support our channel by subscribing, and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. Frank was a former special ops soldier, who now has become a mercenary res- Call sign, the transporter. While preparing for his new transportation, a few young mobs disturbed his gearing. To not be late at the rendezvous, he hurriedly beat them up and let them flee. His new job turned out to be escorting a kid called Jack from school, whose father Jefferson was a high-profile officer in the government. The marriage of Jefferson and his wife Audrey was under great strain due to his government job. This leads Audrey to seek solace in Frank. For once she was getting somewhat drunk and attempting to seduce him, but Frank turned her down, and tactfully sent her home. Making Audrey realizes Frank's a professional and trustworthy man. During one regular escort, Frank took Jack to the hospital for a medical checkup. Jack was nervous. The two had built an intimate bond, he encouraged Jack to move on. Then Frank received a call from his French detective Draconi, who decided to spend his holiday in Florida with him. However, as he spoke, Frank noticed that the staff here weren't usual. They were imposters who had already killed and masqueraded as doctors. Especially the nurse at the counter. Frank opened the door and saw that the imposter was going to inject something into Jack. They immediately burst into a fight. And the imposters were overskilled by Frank. However, the nurse outside started gun blazing at him. In this case, Frank took out oxygen, put it on a cart, and pushed it out. Then he smashed the light with a fire extinguisher to cause sparks, which led to a massive explosion. He then took the opportunity to escape from the elevator with Jack. But what he didn't know was that, in the parking lot, a bomb had been placed right under his car. And he drove it right afterward. As Frank arrived at Jefferson's house, he received a call. A voice warned him that a sniper was aiming at his skull. If Frank don't follow what he said, Jack would die. Frank followed the instructions. He picked up the nurse imposter Lola, and drove off the scene. A large group of cops chased after them. Later, under the guidance and threat of Lola, Frank met the boss Gianni Cellini and handed over Jack. Gianni subsequently called Jefferson, asking for $5 million within two hours. After that, Gianni set Frank free. While he was leaving, he found the bomb under his car. And he didn't spare any horses all day fleet. However, Traconi, who was enjoying his vacation at Frank's house, was arrested by the police for interrogation. Frank returned to the hospital for investigation. Via the security cam, he identified the imposter, Dimitri. So he called Traconi for help. In the police station, Traconi was surprisingly teaching the American police how to cook French food. After hearing Frank's request, he secretly used the police computer to find Dimitri's address and led Frank to his whereabouts. Seeing Frank, Dimitri panicked and fled. Frank rode a jet ski to catch up with the bus, forcing Dimitri to expose the plan. He also injected Dimitri with an unknown liquid making him startled. Frank soon discovered the conspiracy. He followed Dimitri all the way to a lab. And Dimitri was asking a pharmacist for the cure. Frank appeared afterward beating him down. The pharmacist told Frank that the yellow injection was a lethal virus. People would die within 24 hours after being injected. The virus was also highly infectious, and could spread by the infected's breath. Jack was also injected before he was released. Kidnapping was just a facade. Gianni's target was Jack's father, Jefferson. And the purple potion turned out to be the cure, just threw them out of the window and escaped. Frank jumped out to pick it. He saved the last cure at the risk of losing his hand under the wheel. Meanwhile, Jack began to show symptoms, and Jefferson was also busy coughing at night, told Audrey everything, and injected the cure into Jack. Gianni's target would be the National Drug Control Conference. With Jefferson's participation, he would disseminate the virus all over the country. Audrey called Jefferson. Unfortunately, the signal was terrible. Jefferson didn't understand what is scheduled. Gianni watched it on TV and enjoyed his show. 
knowing Gianni would have stored more cure. Frank called Turconi again who helped him find his address of Gianni. Haplessly, on the way, Frank's car was impounded by the police, so he had to stop a taxi and took the driver to Gianni's place. At the same time, Gianni injected the remaining cure all into his body. Frank later arrived at the place and had a shootout with the mob. He sneaked into the warehouse from a vent. The thugs soon followed up. Although being outnumbered, Frank still managed to fend off the thugs. He asked the taxi driver to start up a sports car for evacuation. After dealing with all the thugs, Frank finally met up with Gianni who was ready to leave. Now Gianni is the cure. Frank can only capture him alive. But before that, Loa appeared to hold Frank back. Her agility did bring Frank some trouble, but after a few rounds, Frank ended her life by kicking her onto the spikes. Then he rushed out of the garage in a Lamborghini to the airport and boarded the plane at its last moment for takeoff. The showdown begins. During the shootout, facing Frank. Gianni accidentally killed the pilot making the plane fall into the sea. As it was sinking, Frank counterattacked Gianni and dragged him back to the surface. The police soon surrounded the area. Yet another day as the transporter, Frank came to the hospital watching the family happily chatting. He left flowers and walked out of the hospital. At the end of the movie, Frank gets a call saying I'm looking for a driver. He firmly replied I'm listening hinting there will be a transporter 3.